I just finished watching la the recent episode of Escape of the Seven, and I'm like, what did I just watch? You know, um, is it the unicorn that we saw, or the crowd mentality of everybody going to that island to dispose of one body? So someone died. And they all got the brilliant idea recommended by someone. I suspect that guy anyway. Recommend, someone recommended that they go to a deserted island to bury the body. And then everybody, all about 26, 30 people, dressed up in blue robes and went to dispose of a body. That crowd mentality did not make any sense. But a part of me is saying that, oh, they all went because we are all responsible for this death so we all must do it together but where did they get all the outfits they all dressed in blue blue raincoats and whatever and they all went to the island and then the unicorn and then the you know the flowers that were like all well lit and you know shooting funny things out that when you hit it you die or the cave that they buried the body that came crashing down. And I, I was like, if this was engineered by Matthew Lee, um, how, like, like how? I, I, it didn't make sense. The first episode that came out on Friday, I think that was episode five, I was just like weirded out, like, what am I watching? Like, I didn't get it. It was fun to see how the adopted father morphed into Matthew's lead that we see right now at the transformation, grandpa taking his place in prison so that he could come out, use his wealth to get revenge for his granddaughter. Um, right now, we are all still confused if she's dead. Um, but at the end of episode six, we see Han Mona um, having a dream of using a stone to hit and kill a uh, dummy. So, and she's confessing to Dami's mother, the, her birth mother, that she killed dummy. So, is she hallucinating? Is she feeling guilty? Is it a dream? Or did she really kill them? Because right at this point, we are all a little confused about what happened to dami is she missing is she in hiding is she dead especially at the end when she did the video when she came out to do the tell all and she accused her father and then she started moving back and saying don't kill me don't kill me and then you know she now disappears and it looks like it's the father so how staged is it it's, it's quite confusing right now but back to that island then they get back to their rooms they struggle you know seven of them make it off the island they kill everyone else and they make it off the island and then the police now comes and sees that all the bodies are piled on each other on the island so are you telling me that when they left the island pretty much by you know eight o'clock seven so somebody went to the island or someone was on the island and picked up all the dead bodies from all the different corners and pile them up on each other. Hmm. If I say that episode was weird, you know, um, it was a whole level of weird because my brain is telling me that how can you orchestrate to the point that in all those deadly scenarios, only the seven of them would survive. It, no, yeah, okay. So, so I read somewhere where someone said that, you know, suspend all reasoning and thinking when watching Escape of the Seven because it's by the people who did uh, Penthouse. But as much as I want to suspend my brain, <laughs> my brain keeps waking up and asking all these questions. So am I the only one asking all these questions? Did you notice any of these things when you watched it? Let me know in the comments. See you in the next one.